Hi, we're Mike and Cindy from Theme Park Delight, and today we're going to talk about right after our move to Florida, what were the first things we did when we got here. <laughs> If you're planning a move to Florida, probably the most important thing you're going to need is a job or some income. You do need income, yeah. Yeah, so before you come down, it, maybe you have a job you can transfer. Uh, make sure you've secured a job. Or if you work from home, uh, maybe you can just transfer a move here and work from home anyway. Or maybe you're retired and you can just move here and uh, have some retirement pension or savings. Maybe you don't really need a job, but that's one thing you want to know if uh, you'll be able to sustain your, your household income. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've been here two weeks and every day has been nice and sunny in the 80s or lower 90s temperature wise no rain yet it's the beginning of April today today today's April 1st and we're not really able to go anywhere because of the coronavirus so we've had a lot of time to unpack and uh, get all our affairs in order since we moved here and let's get on with the list here so another thing you're going to want when you move to Florida is um, an address where you're going to live. So maybe you need to rent a house or rent an apartment or you're going to buy a house or live with some family. Having an address it makes it a lot easier because if you don't have that address ahead of time then you're gonna what are you gonna do come down here and stay in a, a hotel while you look for an apartment or a house uh, that could get expensive and take quite a bit of time if you're traveling with pets uh, it could be difficult we, we, we had thought about it but yeah what do you do with all your belongings uh, are you driving a u-haul or do you have to put stuff in storage right. yeah so for us we uh, used a realtor to find a townhouse that we were, we were able to rent and we're, we were able to rent that or arrange the rental contract ahead of time before we left. So having that address, knowing where we're going to go to was very important. It, mm -hmm. it just made the whole thing a lot less stressful. Hey, uh, want to see what the trees look like here? It looks pretty nice. That's Charlie, or no, this is Charlie, this is Arfi, and that's Harfie. Arfie and Harfi. <laughs> and Arfi and Harfi are really enjoying the Florida sunshine. Yeah. And all the walks they get to go on. So I would say one of the things you'd want to do if you're arranging to rent before you come down is maybe see if you can have if you're working with a realtor have them go look at the place and do a FaceTime so you can have a video of what the place looks like to make sure you like it if you have the time and the money maybe you come down on a, a scouting trip and come stay here for a week and look around at places that's another way to do it uh, so for us we used a realtor and we were able to look at it on FaceTime and then work with the leasing company and get DocuSign the contract ahead of time and be prepared that once they agree to let you rent the place that you're most likely going to have to send them uh, cashier's checks for deposit so make sure you have the funds in the bank to be able to do all that yeah. um, we had to pay a first rent payment first month's rent and uh, a pet deposit also when you're renting uh, be be careful don't fall victim to a scam on Craigslist that's why uh, we've thought it was more important to have a realtor help us with that so we didn't have to get scammed out of our money that way 
So another thing uh, before you leave on your uh, journey to Florida is to get all your documents in order. For us, I used a file planner box and I put all my important documents in there. Things we're going to need um, our signed lease agreement, uh, our passports, our birth certificates, the kind of stuff you're going to need to uh, sh get your driver's license or show the leasing agent when you get your ha your move into your house. So having all your documents in hand when you get here makes it a lot easier. That way you're not searching for it in a in a box and packed in the moving truck somewhere. That's just going to make it all a lot less stressful. Driving to Florida. <laughs> so when you cross the state line, assuming they let you in, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, stop at the Welcome Center. It's like a rest area stop and pull in there. That gives you a chance to take some pictures uh, with the Welcome to Florida sign. You can get a Florida Sun Pass so you can pay the tolls automatically without having to stop at each toll booth and give them dollars and coins. It's an electronic pass that sticks on your windshield they have it in a vending machine there even if it's after hours and the and the actual welcome center is closed you can still go in use the restrooms and the vending machine you can buy it with your credit card stick it on your windshield you can activate it right there with a kiosk or you can uh, put an app on your phone and activate it that way so the sun pass i bought was five dollars and it stuck on the windshield right by my mirror on the inside and I connected it to the app and also you can load money on it uh, with your credit card and you can put the vehicle information in like your license plate and I was towing a trailer so be sure if you're towing a trailer to also put the license plate of your trailer in there and any other vehicles you have so then the first day we got here we got here a little bit late in the afternoon arrived in Orlando so we checked into a hotel because the next morning we we're gonna meet the rental agent for the townhouse we we're moving into so staying the night in the hotel made sure we could have an early start and not be late we didn't want to be just driving into town and having to do that right away when everybody's tired meeting the rental agent uh, did take a couple hours because uh, they come in the house they let you in they look around they they document everything take pictures take inventory the guy uh, said he was an inspector so he had to inspect it all yeah that took a little while it took two hours yeah so then once we got checked into our rental unit the next thing we did was go shopping so you're probably going to need some food, uh, toilet paper, haha, <laughs> if you can find any. <laughs> <laughs> Think just things you need to put stock the fridge and the cupboards and all that kind of stuff. And anything uh, you may have forgotten to bring with you. Where's your shampoo? Did you pack that in the U-Haul? You sure you have that handy for tomorrow? Okay, then after we got checked in, did a little shopping. The next day, well, the first night we had to sleep on air mattresses because our furniture wasn't there yet. So the next thing we had to do was unpack a moving truck. So we had that scheduled for the next day to come to town. And I'll tell you about that. So we used a moving truck called U-Pack. It's a truck that, it's like a short semi-trailer. They drop off at your house. You get three days to load it then you call them they come pick it up the next day they drive it across the country and then when you get to your new place you call them and arrange for them to drop it off then you have three days to unload it for us that was easier than trying to drive a u-haul across the whole country but we did have with the u-haul the u-pack truck service was great I'd recommend them again one thing though I would recommend if you're doing that is make sure you have enough packing blankets. You can buy them on Amazon because they didn't have any. So you're going to need your own hand trucks 
and packing blankets. I was able to buy several dozen of them on Amazon pretty cheap. So the biggest snafu we had after we got here was we had hired some mover help to help us unload the truck. I was supposed to have three guys for five hours to help unload the truck and they showed up seven hours late. Yep. By that time the day was almost done. They only worked two hours and then they said they were going to come back the next day. And guess what? They didn't. Yikes. So we got a little worried about not being able to sleep on our own bed that night. So I actually found four nice neighbors to come help. So we were able to get it unloaded with the help of some neighbors. And yes, I did pay them for helping me. What do you do next? The next thing is you need to get some rest and have some fun. You meet some of your new neighbors, go to the theme parks if they're open, um, this whole coronavirus thing. If you drive around, get familiar with the area, learn, learn your quickest route to and from the theme parks because that's going to be important. Uh, and you can, you can go get your annual passes and head over to Disney. Um, we wish we could, but we're not able to because we're stuck. We've at been here over two weeks and haven't been able to go to the parks once. Yeah, we're stuck at home. We're not really supposed to go anywhere but grocery shopping. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, no, nothing's open anyway. Enjoy some Disney food, but don't eat too much. Um, and don't spend too much money. Don't spend too much money. <laughs> don't get fat. <laughs> you'll you'll be tempted to want to buy everything, but you have to kind of remember that you're living here now. It's not, it's not a vacation. So, you know, you could splurge for a day or two, but really need to be careful. Have fun, about but that. don't lose your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you're gonna need is a Florida driver's license. Florida license plates on your car, car insurance. So the first thing to do is get your car insurance. So we met with our insurance agent. We found one nearby, same brand we had before. Uh, the rates in Florida might be a little bit higher depending on what state you came from. You could use shopping comparison sites to get some quotes, pick out the brand you wanna use and uh, go meet with their agent or do it online with the app however you do it but we were able to go meet a nearby agent sit down and get our car insurance and our renters insurance and then they give you an insurance certificate that you can take to the D well it's not called the dmv here it's called the tax office so before you go get your driver's license get your car insurance that's step number one Going to the tax office will require an appointment if you don't want to wait in a long line. And you have to go to the one in the county that you live in. So we made our appointments, one for each of us, 15 minutes apart. Try to get them as close together as possible if you're a couple. You're going to need to bring all your documentation and your vehicles with you. Your car, boat, trailer, whatever you have. Make sure you bring all your documentation with you to the tax office. Your driver's license from your prior state, your vehicle title, your registration, your car, your boat, your trailer, your SUV, your tanker truck, whatever you got. Bring it with you. You're going to need it. Bring some money. They do take credit cards. You do have to prove your residency in Florida. We brought the, our lease agreement and a utility bill mm -hmm. uh, we had just moved here so we didn't really get a bill yet but we were able to log on to the website of the water department the electric company and download something there that pr showed our address and our name to prove that we had utilities and if you're married and you don't have a passport make sure you bring your birth certificates and your marriage license. We had a passport, so we didn't have to show birth certificates or marriage license. It cost about $500 to license our car for two years and get new plates, and the driver's license were about $53 or $54 each. 
they can also register you to vote at the same time another thing you're gonna need is health insurance so have fun with that <laughs> <laughs> That's our best advice. <laughs> <laughs> you can get that uh, either from your employer or from healthcare.gov. Um, if you had, if you're transferring from out of state to Florida, you have to apply for your new insurance and then get cancellation letter from your old insurance company. And then you can shop for your insurance plans. It's not easy. Uh, to pick out plans are very complicated you might find a, a professional to help you with that or maybe you know a family member that works in the healthcare industry like we did mm -hmm. our daughter works for a, a, a doctor as a scheduler so she was able to help us sort out all the all the yeah. confusing parts looks like we're gonna be okay with that mm -hmm. and other than that you're now a Florida resident, you got your driver's license, you got a place to live, hopefully your pets are happy. Ours are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the sunshine. Anything else to add? I don't think so. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, soon we'll have some Disney, more Disney videos. And See you in the great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Didn't get Bella going again. Puppies. Puppies. <laughs> What's the matter, Jake? Are you our feet? Perfect. He wants to go say hi to the neighbor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you stay here.